In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a phishing email analyzer using AI. And this is a project that you can add to your resume to help you stand out. Hey, my name's AJ. I've been in cybersecurity for the last nine years. And on this channel, we teach all things cybersecurity for beginners. So let's get into it. Hi there, and welcome to the next cybersecurity AI project. And what we're going to be doing today is building a phishing email analyzer. So how this is going to work then is that we're going to have our phishing email, which is going to be sent to our AI and workflow automation tool. Then once it's sent to that AI workflow automation tool, it's going to perform some analysis and we're ultimately going to have some email analysis produced via email that's going to tell us more about this email. So how we're going to do that then, um, and what we'll learn first actually is how to actually use a workflow automation tool to build an email analyzer. I'm going to show you how to submit an email for analysis so that we can actually analyze it. I'm going to go through and actually read the results. And then we're going to talk through about how you can talk about this in interviews. So to begin with then, what you're going to need is access to Tynes. And this is the only tool that we're going to be using during this project. So you're just going to need an account with Tynes, which is free. And then what we're going to start with is actually building the email analyzer. So what you want to do then, you want to head over to Tynes. Once you're logged in, uh, you should see uh, this page here. And you're going to go to New. And uh, once you've gone into New then, we're going to go down to the bottom left where we've got Story Library. And then in Story Library, we're going to type in Receive and Analyze. Oh, this one here. Receive and Analyze emails with rules. So if we click on this, so we can just see more about this actual workflow. So receive and analyze emails with rules in Sublime Security. So this is saying that we can utilize Sublime Security's rule sets to analyze phishing emails sent to a phishing report inbox um, that can be hosted by Tynes. And then an analysis report will be sent by email or flagged in Sublime um, and it'll pr produce some results. So if you imagine a company, often they have phishing report mailboxes where employees or clients or customers can send emails to. Now, instead of a cybersecurity analyst or cybersecurity professional going through every single one of those emails, what we can do here is actually automate that so that the clients, the customers, or the employee can send that email directly to this workflow. It'll process the work through the workflow and actually send us a notification. So what we want to do next then is go to import and then you're going to want to select your tenant. So you just click that there and then you will see that this has been imported into Tynes. So this is a workflow that's been pre-built automatically imported now into our Tynes tenant. So we're not going to build out the whole workflow um, in this project. So as I mentioned, this one is pre-built, which is one reason that uh, I do like Tynes because they do provide these pre-built uh, workflows that can actually uh, help you set up um, automation quite quickly. And this kind of has got some notes here to kind of walk through uh, what it's actually doing. So you provide an email address in the Tynes receive action. So that's this one here. Um, so there's an email address in here that we can send. Uh, so as you can see here, this is the email address. So this email address here is where we can send the emails to. And this enables um, us to send an email to this workflow. Um, it's then going to check if it's got an attachment. Um, if there's no attachment, it'll send a notification uh, to say, sorry, we couldn't find the email. Um, if it does have an attachment, so the email needs to be added as an EML file. Uh, so you just need to forward the email as an attachment. If it doesn't find the attachment, it'll just say there was no email. Um, sorry, we couldn't perform the analysis. But if it does find the email, it'll check to make sure that it has the attachment. Check to make sure that the mailbox ID exists. It'll then send it to Sublime then, um, which will actually analyze uh, the email for us. It'll review the matches um, and it'll see which rules it's ha actually triggered on. And then it'll format the message so that it can. And then we should get an email here then that will pr produce the results. And you can see here the results of the Sublime Security rules. And then it gives the list of rules then that it's been evaluated against. So it actually says here that we don't actually require um, a Sublime Security account. 
and it mentions that we don't need this uh, that it'll still be processed through the rules provided by their open API and the results will be still be sent by email so you can provide you can have additional um, re results here from an actual sublime security account or there could be other tools that you could also use and you could also add in here as well uh, but this one is just a simple AI project that we're going to do just to get some experience but you can always and we do recommend that you explore these workflows much more <clears throat> but in this project video we're just trying to set up this simple automation that will analyze our emails for us that can then actually mimic a uh, phishing mailbox uh, that many companies actually use so like I mentioned this is already set up then so what we're actually going to do next then is submit an email to the actual email analyzer. So this is an example of a phishing email that I received and it was trying to impersonate OpenSea, which is an NFT marketplace. So what we want to do here then, we can do here then, we can right link, click for. And the email address we are sending it to is the actual receive action and it's this email address here. So we're going to paste this in here. So uh, we can leave this as blank. Uh, we can see the email is attached. Uh, we can leave the subject and uh, we can put the from address to uh, whichever email address box you're using. And then we can actually hit send. And now what we're gonna do is wait for that email to be received by the workflow. And you can actually see this. So it, I'm not sure if you just saw it, but that number just changed to two. Uh, but if you click on events, uh, you can see down the bottom left here then where it's got just now so if we click on this it's going to show the email that was just sent and then it's going to start to process through the different workflows here so it's going to check that it's got an email attachment um, and then it's going to be analyzed in sublime security uh, it's formatting the message so you can have a look at the events in here you can see it just now just to match up with the time you can receive uh, the email uh, we can see the different steps that is going through here it's showing that the mailbox id is actually exists and then it's actually analyzing uh, in sublime security and the final step for it to pass through then is to send the notification email as you can see here it's actually sent out the email so showing the recipients as myself showing the email analysis and we'll have a look at the email now to see what it looks like so as we can see here then, this is an example of the report that will be returned via email. It's showing some of the match rules and it's also showing some of the rules that it's been evaluated against. So there's many rules in here uh, that it's gone through to try and confirm um, and understand the maliciousness of this email. Now this doesn't actually match too many of the rules. Um, if you wanted to try this out with more malicious emails, for example, uh, with some of these indicators, then you can also try that out as well. But what this project is showing is that we we can quickly set up a phishing email analyzer using a workflow automation tool like Tynes so that we can actually mimic a project that would actually be used in a security operations center environment. Let's just review this project one more time uh, before we move on to talking about how to discuss this in interviews. What you've done then is imported this pre-built Tynes workflow which is able to receive an email, review the attachment, analyze it in a tool like Sublime Security, and then send a not notification uh, to the person who sent it to confirm if this email is actually malicious or not. So this is a basic project, but this can be built on. You could use different tools, you could extract different parts of the email, uh, but ultimately what you're gonna be doing um, and explaining in interviews is that you do know how uh, workflow automation tools work. You've done a project where you understand um, that how to mimic a phishing inbox uh, that is often used by employees and clients and customers to submit potentially uh, potential malicious emails. And then you've been able to build a workflow that can actually analyze that um, to reduce the burden and actual time that it takes for a cybersecurity analyst to analyze it. And we could do this, build this out further as well, where we could, once it's confirmed to be malicious, it could then send a notification to the analyst um, to confirm that it is malicious, um, just so they can review it as well. So again, basic workflow automation but these are the kind of things that you can talk about in interviews which is what we're coming on to now which is actually how to talk about this in interviews so this slide will help us uh, confirm here so just so you know what you've learned as well and how to talk about it in interviews so when you're in an interview you're going to be able to say I understand how workflow automation tools work I've done a project uh, using Tynes 
popular workflow automation tool used in security operation centers. And I've used it to build a basic phishing email analyzer that can actually mimic a phishing mailbox um, that companies use to uh, accept and to review phishing emails. And you can mention that instead of a analyst um, actually performing this manual analysis, you could actually push the email through this email analyzer and have it do the analysis or begin the analysis. And then if it requires further analysis, then send it back and send it over to a cybersecurity professional who can then review it as well. But what this is doing is reducing the overhead requirement for a security operation center um, in an attempt to reduce the amount of time that it's going to take to analyze potential potentially malicious emails. So these are the kind of th conversations that you will have in these interviews, and these are the kind of things that you've learned in this project. You also understand how to submit an email for analysis. So you saw that we submitted it quite simply to the... Um, to the uh, receive action workflow... Um, uh, workflow in the Times uh, workflow, uh, the re receive action step in the Times workflow. Um, so in a real environment, you will often have a phishing mailbox. Well, that phishing mailbox could automatically forward all of these uh, emails to the email address that we showed in that first step, which was the receive action and receive email. Um, so again, these are the kind of things that you can talk about in interviews as well. You understand how to re read the results. So the Sublime Security provides some basic uh, results triggered off certain rules. Uh, but again, this is a good start for when you're trying to analyze malicious emails. Run it through these rules first. Start to understand if the email is malicious or not. And then, like I said, either send it to an analyst to review or send it back to the customer and say this is not malicious. And again, we've just gone through how to talk about this in interviews. So... I want to say thank you for watching this video. Again, a very basic project, but these projects need to be built on top of. They can be made a lot more sophisticated. Um, but ultimately, what you're trying to do here is just get some experience with these tools so that you can start to talk about them in interviews. And then we expect then you to build on top of these projects um, to make them more detailed. Uh, but ultimately, these are the kind of things that you want to bring up in interviews. And these are the kind of things that you want to talk about in interviews uh, because there's many analyst jobs now that are requiring these tools, but there's not many places that are actually teaching it. So please go ahead and uh, watch this video again. Go through the project step by step. If there's anything that you're struggling with, uh, reach out to me anytime. Uh, you can message me in the community. Make a post. Uh, we really do encourage people to post about the projects that they're working on um, just so others can see what you're doing as well because it really does help to benefit everyone else in the community if you continue to post in there uh, with maybe there's issues that you're currently having that you need to be resolved. Well, often there's other people having those same issues as well. So thank you for watching this project. You now know how to use a workflow automation tool uh, to actually create your own uh, phishing email analyzer. So I want to say thank you for watching. So to conclude uh, then, you now know how to build a phishing email analyzer using a workflow automation tool like Tynes. This is going to allow you to stand out when it comes to job applications and job interviews because this is going to demonstrate your ability to automate certain processes in a security operation center, which is what companies are looking for these days. Now, if you enjoyed this project and you want another cybersecurity AI project, go and watch this video next where I show you how to use Tynes and AI to summarize alerts that come into a seam. Thank you for watching. I'll see you over there.